Yo guys, got another video for you. Um, here's the settings for a set of course like Compatione. Um, they're ru running really good, so um, you want to check it out. So we're in virtual desktop right now. Everything on high, everything's maxed out. Nothing too complicated here. Um, just follow the settings and you'll have a good experience. Went to the streaming, got a good like um, setting on there. I haven't chosen for the super sample on the right side, as you can see, that ticks off. That's ticked off. Uh, bit rate's 150, maxed out. And now let's go into Steam and VR. So, yeah, you want to go into here, set it to 100%, which is 3120 by 3120. Yeah, so that's simple. Straight into the settings now of a set of course Capationi. Resolution doesn't really matter because that's just your desktop resolution, it doesn't affect the actual headset um, output. Um, so, looking at the settings here, we've got the view distance you can you put it either high or epic, um, shadows on high, shadow contact shadows is off, I believe. Yeah, that makes a difference in the visuals, but um, adding that on does sacrifice a tremendous amount of uh, performance so you, will, you might lose about 10 frames there so yeah I won't put that on anyway so anyways checking out the other settings now just um, go ahead and jot these down put them in your game and yeah pause the video and let me know how that goes for you guys um, yeah so gameplay here we go starting up this uh, Porsche because these details are fantastic, here we go. Really, really good by Kunos. Making decent frames despite, you know, the internet on the Well, many channels out there saying that, well, it's very hard to run this as a Corsa in VR. But here we go. Um, I mean, look, we're on high, low, epic settings. Um, it's running fantastic, it looks brilliant. And I'm getting about 60 frames, 65 frames in VR, which I think is playable. Um, you might have um, some performance loss if you don't have a decent CPU. Um, I think in the options as well, I enabled um, not to view all the cars, but I think to show up to 30, which is quite extensive anyways. So yeah, you could reduce that and you'll probably get a bit better frames. Um, but yeah, everything's in max out in 1080 TI. As we do this lap around uh, Suzuka. You can even see the memory um, being maxed out at 2 on the VRAM. Um, yeah, look at the settings. Look at the performance, guys. Getting through the pack here. I think the lowest I've seen there worked well. 42 frames, but it goes. It's smooth, so you're not going to get anything lower than that, I don't think. Like I said, it's dependent on your CPU. But yeah, we're just cutting through these. I think we've got five, 10 minutes of race in here. Um, visuals are amazing, really. I was really surprised. And like I said, I think this is one of well, probably the, the best feed, boss feedback out there. Together with uh, R Factor 2, so yeah, I really wanted to get this sorted. Um, happy with the VR performance. Maybe we're on a dated car right, right now, dated GPU. Um, yeah, like I mentioned before, the contact shadows is off, so it doesn't look like the car is actually hitting the surface, it looks like it's floating sometimes, but um, yeah that's what you get, a bit of a trade off, I mean if you do put it on you might want to lower the, the shadows.
10 and I'm starting from 7 in the morning to show you sunrise and then into the afternoon I believe um, yeah just to give you a bit of a heads up of what performance uh, variation you might uh, get um, during the game time I haven't tried night and I haven't messed around with the weather yet so uh, let me know how it is for you in the comments below I mean, yeah, it's, it's all experimental at the moment I was glad that I can run this in VR there's a lot of people just, you know, throwing it to one side and fight, you know what, can't be asked for this shit. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely worth it because, you know, ACC, like I said, it's one of the best handling force feedback games out there. Visually it looks amazing, so it's worthwhile just giving it a bit more attention of how to tweak things and get things running with an old card. I'm sure if, if anyone's got anything more powerful than a 1080, you know, the 30 series or whatever, 30, 60, whatever's out there, higher than this, do have a problem. Um, I might have a problem with the VRAM, however. I mean, this is, ma as you can see, it's maxing out at 10.5 on the VRAM. Um, so there's not much give left in the VRAM area, and there's nothing you can do about it. So if you've got an 8 gig or whatever, anything lower than 12, you might have an issue there um, running this. Saturday. It's going to be a bit difficult, we've got to keep the tight lines here for these little less bends. GPU is getting heated here at 51C. CPU is running at 68. Seventy frames per second round again. Just the one car in front, very playable. No issues running this. It was smooth as hell. Guys, if you like this content, you know what to do. Just drop a like. 
and subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel, do what I can. But yeah, I'm just doing it for fun as well. I love VR and uh, I love sim racing as well. You know, a nice, nice, fancy little, um, little setup. Um, yeah, this is my little side little hobby. And yeah, I just like to help people in the community. You don't need the high end GPU to say you need. But yeah, it is what it is. Guy in the last lap now here. I don't think we are. <laughs> Try to be optimistic here. There we go. Finish the lap. In fifth out of the mall. 30 cars, I think, believe. Yeah. You know. Peace, respect. And uh, see you on the next one.